Hey guys, I'm here with Carla Lamley. She is a, a, decor, a d designer, decorator, interior what do you design. Prefer? Interior design. Okay, so tell me a little bit about how you got started. Well, I have actually uh, been doing interior design for about 23 years. Okay. Um, I started um, just helping friends sure. and getting started and doing a lot of study on my own. Okay. And then I finally hung out my shingle in um, 2000, basically around 2000. And then um, for about 10 years, I was independent. Okay. And now I'm employed by Kimbrough Furniture and Designer Showcase. I love that. So tell me, what is one of the biggest misconceptions in, that you've run into about interior design? Well, I think people... Um, think of as an interior design is only for those who, you know, maybe have a large budget mm -hmm. or can afford a designer. But actually, um, I like to work within people's budgets mm -hmm. and I like for them to give me a budget and then I work within that. Or um, really, one of my favorite clients to work with are those that are on a limited budget okay. and we schedule out their design process over each quarter or um, one thing a year or you know however they want to do it so i think interior design can actually that service can actually save people money because they tend to overbuy when yes. they try to buy by themselves. Yes, I've definitely done that. And so they keep trying to get the look that they want. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, you know, um, securing a designer can actually be so helpful and very cost efficient. Anyway. I love that. I love that. And so what about, so talk about Kimbrough Furniture for just a minute. And what does that bring to your business that maybe another another interior designer might not have? Well, it brings a multitude of resources. So where I finally came to after 10 years of running to Dallas and Oklahoma City and, you know, different places is a lot of the client's budget is used up in fees for searching for the right, um, you know, furniture piece or, you know, that perfect accessory for a certain room or mm -hmm. whatever. So when, um, you know, you have the resources at your fingertips to order for the client or, you know, you have all of the um, uh, vendors in your, in your retail space, in your brick and mortar, you can save a lot of time. That's great. I love yeah. that. Um, what about, uh, you were talking to me uh, before we turned the camera on about helping people downsize. Let's talk about that for okay. just a minute. What? Sure. Tell me how your services would help somebody who is maybe going from like a three or 4,000 square foot house to maybe an 1,800 square foot house or, or 2,500 square foot house or something like that. What, um, what, are, what are the points of value that you bring to that? Well, it just helps um, a client um, sort of hone in on what they want, mm -hmm. you know, down to um, even maybe going with them on a couple of, um, you know, trips with their realtor to a house mm -hmm. to see if that space is something that would uh, accommodate their furnishings and their style of mm -hmm. furnishings. Mm -hmm. And if it's a if it's a client that I've worked for for years, uh, you know, recently I helped a lady who was in her 90s who had lived in her home her whole life who actually was somewhat of a designer herself. It was amazing. I helped her transition to even assisted living. Wow. And, you know, it just helps them take the things that they really love mm -hmm. and make the new space. Downsizing is hard. It's hard yeah. emotionally. It's, it's, it's a hard process. I've done it myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm speaking from experience. And it helps us kind of go through and declutter and figure yeah. out what we really love and what we want to take with us and what we're um, going to be willing to part with. And so... It really just helps them get a clear picture and figure out what they really need to do and want to do. Yeah, I love that because I think, you know, eyes wide open is so important to me yes. too. You know, just like, okay, 
tell me what to expect. And it would be so good to say, you know what, this piece of furniture is not going to work here. Right. Or, you know, things like that. Right. Um, or maybe something works and you don't think it does. Like, you exactly. know, and that's really, that's the flip side that a lot of people don't think about is they think they need to get rid of everything right. and having somebody say, actually, I think that really will go there. Right. Would be super helpful too. Okay. Well, let's try and let's change gears and talk about maybe some, um, some home design trends that you see maybe going out and some that you see coming in. Give us kind of a bird's eye view of what that looks like to you. Okay, so uh, specifically on um, furniture mm -hmm. and accessories, uh, which also carries over naturally into new homes and mm -hmm. you know new builds and things like that. Uh, grays are not trending as much as they used to. And so that's been a slow transition probably over the last, I would say two to three years. Um, you know, the public is a little bit slow to change and catch up with things. So if you're not seeing a lot of that, um, it's, it's sort of being phased out. Um, I recommend people do more of a grayish go uh -huh. more toward okay. gray tones mm -hmm. because they're more transitional. Is there like a go-to color on your on your color? Um there are several in um in some of the Fandex. I use a lot of Sherwin Williams mm -hmm. um you know worldly gray and um amazing gray are called grays but they go toward a grayish tone. Okay. Uh, and there's actually a grayish in there. Okay. And so I follow that through with my anchor pieces and my furnishings too. Mm -hmm. And that actually gives you a little bit more flexibility to add in color. Now, some of the trends, things that are trending are actually jewel tones, okay. which, you know, uh, we think of that as like the 80s are coming back. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, some, some greens, some, mm -hmm. some navies. Green. My yes. Yeah. Yes. And greens are great colors because they're very natural colors. Mm -hmm. They juxtapose very well on the color wheel against a lot of different colors. Yeah. So it's kind of like bringing the outside in, you know, a lot of people are doing that on their back, their backsplashes mm -hmm. <clears throat> or on their anchor pieces. Uh, you know, I recommend doing things that can are very classic mm -hmm. and that can easily be changed. You mm -hmm. know, when you paint a whole room green, you know, that's a little bit harder to change, oddly enough, than maybe just, you know, a backsplash in your laundry mm -hmm. room or something mm -hmm. like that. So there's lots of ways you can use color and not get too trendy. Mm -hmm. You know, go classic, go timeless. And you'll find yourself, you know, like the, the lady that I spoke about, her house was built in the 70s and it still was very timeless. It mm -hmm. looked amazing. Mm -hmm. And so she was an easy one to help, yeah. you know. Yeah. I love that too because at some point, at some point you have to be able to say, you know what, I understand what's in style, I understand what's not in style, mm -hmm. but this is what I like. Exactly. And being able to keep that new and fresh and, and, and welcoming, you know, when right. somebody can, comes into the, like for instance, we have wood trim in our house mm -hmm. and I wanted white trim when we were shopping, right. but I, the house that we fell in love with had wood trim and I've always said, oh, I'm going to paint it, I'm going to paint it. I'm so glad I didn't because right. I just really feel like it's warm and welcoming. And, Absolutely. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling it now, you know, right. just the, um, those warm wood tones and the right. more houses that I go into and see that they left some of the wood tones, mm -hmm. it does feel warmer in there than it, the ones exactly. where they've gone in and just sprayed everything. And, and a little more timeless. And you mm -hmm. can get the look you're looking for if you would bring in like a painted furniture piece. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you find it at a thrift, thrift store or, you know, just don't spend a lot of money on that piece. And you can still get the look you're wanting, but you're not changing the hard things. Yeah, I love that. Yes. Um. Well, so if someone wanted to get in touch with you, what's the best way to do that? What phone number would you want them to call? Uh, they can call me directly on my cell phone number. It's 580-704-2014.
perfect. And you work here in Oklahoma City and also Lawton, correct? Yes, I work all over the state okay. of Oklahoma and Texas. Okay. We we go everywhere. That's <laughs> good. Well, and I'll tell you guys, she's helping Roberto um, with his new office and it's been no uh, short order. That's for sure. Yeah. But um, so, so offices you yes. can help with as well. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, fantastic. Carla, I really appreciate you Thank coming you. in. Thank you. And thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, Becky. it's good. It's good. Um, okay. So again, I'm Becky Sato with Sato Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Green Meadow, and we're never too busy for your referrals. Thanks.